Welcome back to the channel, Cumbrian Mountain Goat. Um, today I'm going to do something a bit different. I thought I would talk about uh, my uh, role models growing up when I first got into the sport of running and my current role models now, um, specifically related to trail running. So uh, my earliest memory of um, my inspirations in running is probably got to be Kelly Holmes, um, her double gold medal in the 800 metres and the 1500 metres at the Athens Olympic Games 2004 was one of those uh, moments that inspired not just myself, but a whole generation of middle distance athletes. I was a 1500 metre runner at the time, uh, back in 2004, at the age of 13 I would have been at the time. So I was representing my club, uh, Border Harriers, um, in a track and field, um, running the 1500 metres. So that performance was a huge inspiration to me. Um, another person a bit later on um, was Mo Farah. Uh, there's two reasons why Mo Farah for me was an inspiration uh, in my teenage years and throughout my 20s um one being um, um when i went to the intercounties cross country representing cumbria in my teenage years whilst i was at secondary school he i actually watched him compete at willerton park nottingham in the intercounties for middlesex at the time and i thought wow um who is this guy he just blew the field away um i remember he must have been running in the junior men's and I, this when i was my first ever Cumbria vest. Uh, I was under 13s, I think, at the time, and he was under 20s. Uh, he won it by a mile, literally by a mile. When you say dominating a race, that is the definition of domination. Um, it was amazing to witness that firsthand, and I don't think many people can say um, they saw him in live, in action, winning a national title um, at an early age. So I actually saw him before he was a global sex, uh, superstar, before he got into the track in his earlier uh, days of his running career on the cross country. Uh, and then as I moved from cross country, uh, I did half marathons on the road for a bit. And before I got into trail running, so when I got into trail running in 2014, I started following what is arguably one of the most well-known runners on the trails of all time. And that's got to be Killian Journey. Uh, reasons why he's so well known and so admired by people is his. Um, it just seems one of those people that are ultra motivated. They've definitely got a, a gift from a young age. So Killian Journey is um, a Spanish uh, descent. He currently lives in Norway, though, in the mountainous part of Norway. Uh, and as a youngster from, I think, I've actually read his um, biography, which is a really interesting read. I'd recommend it. As a youngster, he used to do ski cross country. Um, from, according to his book, from about seven, eight year old, he, he did that. And so that stood him in good stead going into running up mountains. So one of the most inspiring achievements, which I've watched a documentary about, um, I think you can find it somewhere online. I think I watched it on YouTube. He actually ran up Everest without oxygen. People running up, up Everest alone is a an amazing feat, but without oxygen, that is just another level. Uh, he's won Ultimate Tour of Bon Blanc. Uh, locally to the Lake District, he actually broke the Bob Graham record. Um, a few years back, um, and he was a hero in the UK already, but that just cemented that um, hero status in, in Britain um, for Killian and just cemented it in my mind why he's such an inspiration. Um, he's one of the kind Killian journey, I would say. I think it's going to take a long time before we get somebody on the trail running scene that is so dominant as him. He's won Zagama multiple times. He, he takes part in the Golden Trails World Series, 
which for those that don't know about that, the, Go the Golden Trail series is basically a series of races across different locations across the world, both in Europe and outside of Europe, where um, athletes who are ranked in the trail running scene are invited to take part. And they are, the I think, yeah, I'm right in saying they're sponsored athletes only. So they're sponsored by companies like La Sportiva, Montaigne, and other, other brands as well that make outdoor clothing, specifically trail running clothing and footwear. Um, he's, he's, he's quite, um, also about Killian Journey. He's a very humble guy in all his interviews that I've seen. And he comes across that in across his books that I've read as well. And his YouTube videos, which he puts uh, on there. And he's got quite a big social media presence. I actually follow him on Strava for about three years now. So it's impressive even looking at his training runs. Never mind. He's... So that is my third runner. So if you've got any inspirational people that you'd like to talk about, then feel free to put them in the comments below. And I'll have a look. And I'd be interested to see what who's inspired you to get into running. Thanks and see you in a bit.